<laughs> hey everybody, it's Eric Vincent with Black Ink Creative Partners and partner with Art Lords Production with my Art Lords Production partner, Tina Krause. Now you all know Tina. She is known for, I think her like filmography, I think IMDB tapped out at 130. <laughs> yeah, um, and then uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you need to see Limbo because there is nothing more amazing than what comes out of the twisted mind of Ms. Tina Krause. What? Thank you, Eric. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear that compliment. <laughs> the twisted mind. <laughs> twisted mind. So we're here today because we're about to drop the trailer, the first trailer, for Tina Krause's Bug House. It's a new film coming out um, that we're diligently working on. Tina's leading the charge. It's written, directed, and filmed by Tina. You know, we're about to go. We're, we're shooting for what? Hopefully in October. Hopefully in October. That's the plan. We're going to push for that. I think we're going to drop our marketing probably March 1st, if I'm not mistaken, for that. And then, yeah, we're going to... I, I want to get it... I want to try to get it done before Halloween. But, you know, like I say, we're going to shoot. Hopefully the weather works with us. That's really what it's going to be between scheduling and the weather. I got people coming from other places, so, you know. Yeah, so before we jump into that, so is there any new projects outside of Bug House that you're either starring in, currently working on, what's going on there? Okay, uh, outside of Bug House, we're doing a couple, well, we're going to be doing a couple of things. One of them is uh, Urban X. Urban X is going to be an ex uh, urban exploring. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going into what I love to do. <laughs> I'm going into a bunch of abandoned places and I used to love to do this, you know, before I started the, the brainchild of this. Um, my biggest past fun time, while everybody else was out having parties and stuff like that, I would set up stuff to go and explore again. Insane asylums mostly, um, abandoned mansions, abandoned, uh, I found one, oh my god, it was an abandoned uh, playground, an abandoned um, amusement park, I think that was in Ohio. But basically Urban X is going to be, I, I don't want to call it a history channel, but it sort of kind of is because what I'm doing is I'm showing you the now of the place and what what's in there and I want to show you the charms of it you got an inch of the broken walls that's everywhere but I want it like if I find something really cool like for instance a typewriter from way back then or some type of machinery that they used in the hospital um, I want to show that and then I want to give you a, a history of what that was and what the place was and then I'm going to do some research and find you know, what it used to look like, what the working facilities used to look like, you know, old photos, all of everything. So it kind of gives you a brief summary of now and what it used to be. Just like a little bit of history. These are little treasures that we all lose, you know, in, in time. And they just get swallowed up by nature. So the thing with the Urban X is what we're going to make different about it is, is that first of all, it's definitely going to have uh, a little Tina and Eric style to it. Uh, now, for those of you who know Tina, you know her style. For those of you who know me, you know my style. Now you merge those two styles together and you got like Gen X like just blew up the History Channel <laughs> for like Gen Zers. Like that's the direction. It's going to be done in such a fun way visually visually um, with music and I'm not going to say what else we're going to do in it but for all you Gen Xers who remember VH1 you'll know what we're talking about when it comes out <laughs> so that we're working on right now the pilot episode is in post-production so is episode two and three right yes yep so we have three episodes we're putting together um, and then uh, when we're ready we'll let you guys know when we drop that yeah let's not forget we have a book coming out too oh that's yes. right okay. that's right so we're doing the Urban X ebook. You'll get that online pretty soon. We're in the process. We're almost finished with it. Actually, here's how it works. <laughs> so the way we wanted to do it is, is that because I'm the marketing guy, the way we wanted to do it is we wanted the ebook to be free, so that you guys can see, you know, behind the scenes, see photos that aren't in the in the videos that we're doing, get it out there before, obviously, we we, we put the show out, so you guys can get the flavor. So uh, we can give it away for you guys for free. Okay, on Kindle, if you're a Kindle subscriber. Um, when the Kindle book is out there for free, 
you'll be able to get a full hardcover book. You can buy it from uh, through Amazon when that comes out. We'll be making an announcement. As a matter of fact, we're almost done with it. I think we have like yeah. two chapters left in it. Mm -hmm. um, I think we did like a half a dozen places. Yeah. And here's the beauty of the book. It's not a bunch of words. You're not going to history class. No. It's it's the rich color and the pictures and everything else. Um, and so you're going to get a real, you know, a re really that visual treat. You won't, It won't be like sitting in class and reading some boring-ass college history book. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and also uh, with Urban X, here's a little treat in in the Urban X series. We're going to talk about a little place in each, I guess, state that we go to, each yeah, area towns, we go, yeah. town, okay, whatever we went, wherever we went to explore, whatever's in the radius of that area, if there's some really cool place that nobody knows about, whether it's a bar, a shop, I don't know, it could be a skating rink for all I care. <laughs> But if there's something really hidden and cool, it will be included in the episodes of uh, Urban X at the end. So, little treat interview. And do you want to mention Picture Box? Sure, I want to mention Picture Box. So what else? So T, <coughs> let's do this again. <clears throat> Shut, you stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, this is Tina and Eric, and we can't take anything serious. So, um. So basically, I I volunteered you, okay, for doing uh, for helping me with a short that I'm going to put into a film festival. Um, got to get it in by July first. Just reiterating the dates. <laughs> um, so basically, the short is called Picture Box. We are going to shoot it here at the parlor. Well, at least a, a snippet of it here at the parlor. So right now we're promoting this little cute store. I'm getting a dirty look because he just loves editing my movies. Loves it. Chicken wings. Yeah. He's going to love editing Bug House. That's another one. Oh, that's a fun one. <laughs> yeah, but just tell the audience like the most amazing opening title card sequences I do. Oh, that's true. And they are. And actually, I did see for, for Picture Box today. Uh, well, yesterday, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I saw it and it is absolutely creepy and amazing it's really really creepy so we got a new movie that we're in production with it's called bug house you know uh there's people that know you your fans know you hi guys right you know they know you very well yep. um and then there's people that don't know you, right so if you don't know tina check out limbo uh which is distributed by vinegar syndrome Check it out online, streaming. Just search Vinegar Syndrome Limbo or search uh, Tina Krause Limbo uh, and check out this movie. And you're going to have to watch it twice because the first time you're going to miss stuff. All right. Um, and that gives you a sense of what's going on in the mind of Tina Krause. Why don't you kind of tell us a little bit about what Bug House is about? Is it um, like a drama? Sure. Uh, is it a, a, a sci-fi? Yeah, a for sure. No, wait a minute. Is it a drama? Sure. So it's a sci-fi drama type of thing? Sure. So it's not like a thriller? Or it it's is. Not, what? Sure. Wait. Do you understand I'm talking about the genres here I of film? I understand. Okay, let me, well. let me start this list again. <laughs> Let's do this. Is it a Western? No. So we know it's not a Western? Not a Western. Okay. So um, does like AI come in and take over everything? I can't really answer that. <laughs> All right, so tell me this, like, like, we have obviously protagonists, right? We have like the stars of the movie, sure. right? Yes, we do. So, okay, so you want to give us a little backdrop on the characters, at least? Sure, I could tell you a little bit about the characters. Tell them about the characters. I'll tell you guys about the characters because he's going to try to get other things out of me that I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> so basically, it's about these four people who decide to go uh, urban exploring because that's a good idea. Um, places where you're not supposed to trespass. Uh, in the middle of the day and into the night, because that's not good. And, uh... Is that like the public service announcement you're supposed to say? <laughs> 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 They're idiots. Um, some of them. Some of them are kind of mean and lead the group, I guess. Sort of. 
So can you give us like any character names and the description of the character or something? What do you want? You want like their birthday and the time that they came into the world? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything. Do I have to work with? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you just one more time. Sure. Just to be sure. Sure. All right, so this movie that you're making, Bug House, got to say it a lot of times for the camera, Bug House, right? It is a drama, sci-fi, AI, killing, thrilling... Sure. Rom-com? Sure. All right, so we're about to drop the trailer for Bug House. Um, and uh, if you, uh, before we even do that, tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Okay, so um, you can find me on Tina Krauss, obviously, Facebook. You can also find me at uh, Tina Krauss Bug House Facebook as well. We will have an Instagram page for Facebook. Art Lords, you can find me at. You can find me at Instagram, uh, Tina Krause, which is Space Monkey 7777. Okay, <laughs> I just gotta make sure, right? So apropos. <laughs> well, what do you want to Facebook? is like uh, Tina Krause, I believe it's 1420. I don't know, know how I remember these things. <laughs> yeah, but you can't remember to be on time. What? <laughs> that is, that's bull duty. And <laughs> did you like that one, Bull Duty? Bull it's really cute. <laughs> so nice, <yeah>. I know. I <laughs> know. See what's going on? Do you want me to serve? <laughs> no, so you got it. Also, um, you can look on Black Ink. All right, for everything as well. So we're all intertwined in this lovely yep. little thing. Yep. So right. uh, Instagram is Black Ink underscore CP, um, and then we have Art Lords Productions. So just Google it, and then you can also see if you check our own following, you go to any one of us. You can find me directly at E. Vincent Art uh, on Instagram, and then you'll see we're all interconnected. So if you look at who we're following, you'll find out where everything else is, so you don't have to keep searching the webs. Yeah. All right. Um, and then without further ado, you want to introduce the Bug House trailer? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get it rolling. Here we go, guys. Here you go.